Okay, I don't think I want to. I don't want to hang out in the snow. So let's. You don't want to hang out in the snow. I don't want to hang out in the snow. I think it's time. Okay, probably what we should do. We should make some axes and we should chop down some trees. Okay. I have a chainsaw, you wood. dummy. Okay, don't call me dummy. I don't like to be called dummy. Okay, everyone who's called me dummy, the first thing I said was, you're fired. You're so fired. If you call me dummy again, I'm going to have my lawyers sue you for libel. All right, okay? calm down. But look at this. Okay, no, I will, Hold I will. on to your hiney. Cop, cup down this timber tree in about four seconds. Sarah, that was a really nice job. Timber, timber. timber. Look out, look out. Did you say timber? That tree was totally hollow. That was really weird. I did say timber. See, another liberal here. Yeah, watch this. I Whoa. missed it. Okay, those are supposed to be headshots. What the hell? There we go. That was a total headshot. How is he still alive? Bullshit. Total bullshit. This is, this is one. This must be a Bernie Sanders supporter. Yeah, they're really passionate. They're really passionate. How many times do I have to shoot this guy in the... Oh. He, di he disappeared. He's totally gone. Okay, oh. this is getting really weird. Really weird. President Trump, I found a bit of a road here. So you got some wood. What can we do with wood? I think we should... I'd oh. like an axe. Do There's I a have sign an axe? here. It says... Nava's game. Nash National Forest. Is that where hey. we are? Hey, there's a big, uh... Oh my goodness, a where bit of a lumberjack here. I've lost you. I totally lost you. Oh, there you are. We've Hello. got a bit of a lumberjack situation up here, President Trump. I could really use... I totally... I knocked him out. I knocked him out. I think Thank he's still alive. Thank you for your assistance. He's still alive. Now I killed him. I killed him. Let's see what he's got on him. He's got a black sweatshirt. I gotta tell you, I think I look really good in a black sweatshirt. Okay. President Trump, could you come over here? I've got a bit of a question for you here. I'm putting on this black sweatshirt. Let's take a look at you. Ooh. It, it, it makes me look a little bit chunky, but I like it. I totally it shows like off it. your pecs quite a bit. There's a newspaper here, and it says flu epidemic. What does that mean? So when we sent out the Trump virus, the T-virus, to Mexico, and it started spreading to the United States, I told everyone in the media, because they're totally in my pocket, I said, if you say anything about the T-virus or Trump or zombies... You're fired. You're fucking fired. Not only that, I'll probably kill you. So they called it a flu. So that's all this is. It's just a bad flu. We're just going to put a bandage on it, like you said. And we're going to make it so much better. Ben Carson, he taught me so much. He taught me so much about surgery and life. Because it turns out, surgery has so many metaphors that are relevant to life. Oh boy, President Trump, you really went on a little bit of a rampage with your mouth vomit there. Yep, I like to, I like to rant. I'm a big ranter. Okay, you know that. But so are you, so I don't want to hear it. I'm a little bit less of a rancher than you are, President Trump, but that's because you're a man and you've got the genitals. Yeah, that's probably true. You also have a really hard time with words. It seems like you've got some kind of impediment. Not all of my words. I know a bunch of good words like um, equivocable. That's a I, word. I have the best words, though. I have the best words. I have so many words, and I have the best ones. I, I okay. haven't heard a lot of the best words from you, but I have heard some pretty good words. Like this one time you said... A, a really complicated word, it was, you said boat? Which apparently, according to you, is a vessel that can float on top of the water. Now, unless you're Jesus goddamn Christ, I haven't seen anything like this before, but I'm open to new ideas. No, you're right. It's First of all, it is a complicated word. Not a lot of kids know it. Not a lot of kids know it, okay? It takes them a while to get that one. President Trump, I'm having a hard time. You have all the best words. What's this one? It says stop, Sarah. It just says stop. Do you know what that means? It says Sarah Palin. For president, 2018. That's not what that says. It just says stop. That means just to, to not do what you're doing right now, okay? Somebody probably, sounds like a bit of a grumpy trumpy again. Good advice for you, Jesus Christ. I'm so I'm we've so got we've, that. We've got a hard case of the grumpy trumpies over here again. That's what, what I think. What do we do with all this cotton? Should we start... You started collecting some wood. Should we Should we make a house? Are we trying to find a location to build our, our house, our new life together? together? Is that what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I think that might be a swell idea. If you okay. can gather enough wood and well, do you've something got the chainsaw. with it. I thought you, you have a whole bunch of wood. Oh, I, I can I, start chopping down wood or cherry trees like George Washington, or we can just steal a house. <gasps> President Trump, we should make a brand new version of Trump Tower. A shining symbol of your... What? Okay. But I like your idea about the Trump Tower. Okay. President Trump, I think I found the Adams Family domicile. Domicile. That's a word I'd never thought I'd see here come out of your mouth. What the hell is with the trees over here? They look all messed up. They look totally it's, messed up. I have all the best words. You know it. Oh, wait. That was you. Yeah, that's I'm the one with the best words. Okay, this is really weird. I'm starting to get a little bit creeped out. There's a stag here that got stuck on a tree. Okay, he's gone. Don't worry about it. Don't Holy worry about smokes. it. 
I think I think this might be our house right here. This is a nice little rustic. I gotta tell you, it's a little bit too rural for me, a little bit rustic. It's not really my thing. But I think I can get into it. I can totally get into it. We could fix it up, we can make it really nice. It's role playing, right? We could pretend oh my god, look at this look at this fireplace. It's rural. It's it's kind of broken, but I totally like it. Okay. It's rustic. Okay, this is a weird thing. There's a toilet right out in the middle of the living room. I'm not into that. I like my privacy when I'm taking my piddles. Sarah, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna watch you. Every time you sit on this toilet, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be right here. I'm gonna be like this. Okay, you're gonna sit on it, and I'm just gonna be right here. Look at this. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna look at it and be like, oh baby, because I gotta tell you, I love watching you go to the bathroom. I've never told you that before, but you, I really like it. Okay. Okay, well, we're just gonna continue on and we're gonna leave you in the little creepy house there and you can continue playing role-playing Adam's family or something. I think we should make a life in here. I think this is the... Yeah, but President Trump, I see a whole burnt forest here. Doesn't that look a bit creepy? It looked, it does look a bit creepy. I'm a little bit worried about the burnt forest. That's a good point, okay. Holy moly. I didn't consider it. You know, I gotta switch to my crossbow. I've got a lot of crossbow training. Not a lot of people know this. I'm a great archer. I was, I've been in so many medieval reenactments, okay. I've got some wow. exploding ammo though, it's not so great. Where did you get that? It. Wow. Like this? That looks a bit deadly there, President Trump. Be, be, be very, very, be, be, be very careful where you're pointing that thing. Can I tell you a secret? In all of the Republican debates in 2016, I had one of these stashed under my blazer. Just in case, just in case. Chris Christie, total maniac. I was waiting for that guy to snap. And if he did, I would have had the crossbow ready. Would have taken care of it, no problem. He's a total fatso. I'll, I'll be honest, I'll be terrified if I was using that thing to get a splinter. One time I got one of those so big I almost had to call in uh, the National Guard to take it out. Holy smokes. That sounds like a problem. Okay, this place is totally ruined. It looks like it was burned to a crisp. Got a hound over here. Totally, totally burned. Uh, I'm so sick of these puppies, okay? They're so obnoxious. The first, the first sign of a bad oh, neighborhood is stray I see dogs. A piglet, a piglet, a piglet. Oh, I see a it's, burned gentleman over here. It must be okay, a okay. This this guy's really burned. A burning liberal, a Look burn victim. Look Where'd that piggy go? Totally, he's smoldering. He's totally smoldering. Did he have anything good on him? He didn't on? have. He didn't have anything on him at all. Not even like a snow globe or anything. Waste of ammunition. Okay, waste of time. Oh, Donald, come take a look at this. I think I found a chicken. Holy, he's a bit I of a it's quick one. Spry. It's a spry chicken. Look at him. Can can, can he be our oh, pet? Can he be our a, pet? Well, he's a dead chicken. Oh my goodness, Donald, you're on fire. Am I on fire? Am I on fire? <laughs> Looks like Donald Trump's pants are on fire. How fitting. Now, how about liking the video and leaving a comment below? Until next time.